guys, what's up? Just finished day one, week six, and I'm just here in the spice aisle. Just want to spice it up. Haha, uh -huh. no pun intended. Um, I'm actually looking for a chili lime spice that seems to be very popular. However, I'm struggling. This is like the third store I've been to. I however found this is chili lime rum. But if you look at the back, it has sugar, right? So that's a huge no-no, especially if you're on the mash challenge or just in general. So the only other thing that I found that could kind of supplement is this Thai chili. And if you look at the ingredients, there's just salt, garlic, spices, chili, pepper, red pepper, sweet red pepper, jalapeno, lemon peel, and lime juice. So I think that's uh, what I'm gonna go with. It's only um, 3.59, it's all right. You know, just use a little bit on my chicken. I like to meal prep, um, but that's about all I'm finding here. <laughs> and we're gonna go over and take a look at the chicken, see what's on sale. Definitely like to spend at least a buck, a buck and change for uh, a pound. So let's go check it out. All right guys, so I'm over here by the chicken section. Um, as you can tell, they have an awesome sale on um, 88 cents a pound. So this is actually left over from last week's sale. Um, but these are marked for $1.19, so that's still a great deal. And basically, all I do is I, not the chicken leg quarters, if they have the breast, that's what I want. I just, this is at 88 cents a pound, you guys. So this is the time you want to stock up. So I just pull the skin off and I usually slow cook my meal. Uh, I'm gonna do a meal prep video next week for sure. Always check sales, clearance, everything like that. So for five bucks for four breasts, and these are pretty, pretty hefty. This will definitely last a week. So this is an awesome deal. So I'm gonna grab one of these bad boys. Um, and then I think the current sale is $1.44, so let's take a look. Oh, it's $1.77. So look at the price difference. So this is $1.77 a pound for five pounds. It's nine bucks compared to if I just rip off the skin myself and take the bones out, especially if you put it in the crock pot, you can definitely, the bones come right out if you do it while it's hot. Um, and this is 5.84 pounds, so definitely worth the value. Um, so when those prices are low, I generally go for anything under a dollar. Definitely want to stock up on that stuff. Uh, it's awesome for meal prepping. So we're gonna check out clearance just to see if there's anything good in there and we'll come back at you. Hey guys, so something I found that was awesome, uh, the Shady Brook Farms, which is 93% lean, is actually buy one at $4.49, get one free. So it's like $2 and a quarter for one of these. These are great to make um, meatballs. You could also do turkey burgers. That's what I like to do, or even do like stir fries, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna grab two of these. So I guess they do have um, seasoned and plain. So I'll grab one of each. Awesome, awesome deal. some veggies at home so we're all set and that's pretty much how you bargain shop especially if you're meal prepping hey guys so I'm back home getting ready to prep the rest of my meals for the week um, so what I have here is uh, this morning I actually had some chicken in a crock pot it was four chicken breasts with the bones on and really I let them go for seven hours overnight I seasoned it with this uh, Bragg's organic um, 24 herbs and spices which was actually new to me so I'm gonna try that out and I did cut up some uh, it's carrots and onions and I also put some lemon in there 
So really, this is a lot of food. So I generally prep for two people. Um, so this is plenty to last us the week. And then along with that, I have some roasted um, veggies. I put these in the oven this morning at 425 for about 25 minutes. It's green pepper, squash, and some mushrooms. So now this is our post-workout meal. It's a little late than we usually eat, but hey, we gotta eat. So uh, my favorite actual thing to use is my Power Cooker XL. Love it. You can use it as a slow cooker or a pressure cooker, um, but I really like it to make rice. So instead of having 100 gadgets, that's what I use. So I'm actually gonna prep that with you right now. Um, I know I got these little packets um, at my local grocery store for a dollar and it's uh, the Goya brown rice. So basically, I believe this is about two cups, so I'm just gonna be sure about it and I'm gonna measure it out. And basically, I just put it right into this pot. I think that's about right. Just a little shy, all good. So about a cup and three quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead and all I do is add I have about two cups here, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that in. I need a little bit less, so everything's covered. Really a little bit of salt. And then I do have my organic um, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna just put a dab in there. Awesome. So basically this rice um, will cook in six minutes. It's technically not six minutes because it has to build pressure. But basically, I'm just gonna put my top on, make sure my vent is up, and there's awesome settings on here. So depending on what you're cooking, um, I'm gonna do the rice and risotto setting for six minutes. So basically, it's gonna build pressure, and then it's generally done in like 10, but that's still awesome. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my veggies. So we actually already have two days from um, last week's meals. We carried it over, so I already have two days. So I prep always five days at a time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of my protein. So the smaller one is for me because I can only eat so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and portion this out here. And then for my fiance, I can obviously be generous because he's a man and he needs more protein than I do. Don't mind this container. I just used what I had that was clean but it works. All right, then I'll just kind of divvy up the carrots. I use these because these were organic and they were going bad, but guys, I have a tip for you. Check your grocery store's organic section or wherever they keep their clearance because organic food goes bad fast, so they get rid of that stuff. I got car um, bananas for 49 cents. It was freaking awesome. Um, so a lot of this food we can get really, really cheap. I'll show you what I have in my fridge after. I'll do a little bit more chicken. Perfect. All right. And my kids can eat from this too when they get hungry. I'm also going to divvy up these mushrooms and squash. And rule of thumb is you can have as much veggies as you want. I love, love, love to roast all of my vegetables. That's how I eat them. And they're super filling. So I'm going to divvy up this. Some to him, and then it is a sweat box in here because I don't have an air conditioner, but that's by choice. I like to conserve energy and I'm very frugal. Um, but I'm actually making some roasted kale, um, and I just posted the picture on Instagram. So, guys, follow me on Instagram, skinny jenny underscore vsg, and you can follow. Um, I like to put what I prep and plan because that seems to help me when I'm doing, um, you know, I get great inspiration from other uh, Instagrammers and YouTubers, so it's awesome. And you guys, all I put on that was basically, it was a McCormick's vegetable seasoning. Really easy, toss it, coat it in some olive oil, and then put it in the oven. It's so fast and so tasty. Even after you warm it up, it's really, really good. Um, and then basically, we're just gonna have our carbs, so we'll add some um, rice, but in my oven, I actually have some kale um, and some sweet potatoes that I'm roasting. So I'm gonna throw that in. For days that I can't have carbs, I obviously won't put it in, um, but my boyfriend currently, um, we're doing the max challenge and he's on weeks four and five, so he can have carbs 
Um, he's going to be carb cycling, so we'll figure all that out. And pretty much this will be done soon. I'll throw it all together and we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're meal prepping this week. And I'd love to answer any questions that you have. But I hope this is helpful for anybody out there. Uh, it's very easy, very simple, and definitely meal prep. It's the way to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so really quick, I just wanted to show you my discount finds um, at my local shop, right? So I got all this. This was $1.99. This one's $1.49. I mean, this one's, we just gotta peel off the skin and we're good. Um, I got some peppers yesterday. So I, conveniently enough, I work right next to the food store so I can just go over there and check what they have. But look, $1.49. And then this came with some zucchini too and um, tomatoes, $1.49. All my Italians, I know, they don't taste the same if they're put into the fridge, but I don't want it to go bad. And then I got two of these. They're um, nectarines for $1.49 each. There were six in there. And the best part is all of my scraps I give to my chickens, so we're not wasting. But I hate plastic, but I wish they wouldn't wrap the food in plastic. That bothers me a lot. Um, and then I had gotten some cauliflower. And those are just some hard-boiled eggs. But yeah, you guys, such a deal. So definitely check out your clearance sections. You never know what you're going to find.